<laughs> okay. Do you want to know what I looked like when I saw the movie? Do you? You wanted to see a reenactment of me watching Avengers Endgame? Because I'll show it to you. I'm just going to assume that you're saying yes. Here, I'll show you exactly what I looked like when I was watching this movie. <laughs> Here's the reenactment. Yeah, I totally spilled water on my face. Oh, man. <laughs> and now I'm going to be soaking wet for this whole review. Avengers Endgame. This is the non-spoiler version, so don't worry, I'm not going to ruin anything. Although some people who I've told I actually cried during this movie considered that to be a spoiler. And maybe it is to some point, but you don't know what I was crying about. Was it a sad scene? Was it a happy scene? Did I stub my toe? Did someone spill my popcorn? <laughs> Many different reasons for me crying. Oh man. So Avengers Endgame was... It's up there as far as being the best superhero movie ever. In fact, no, I... I'm sorry, DC. I'm your fan, but my God, you guys need to pick up your movie game. Ugh. All right, so let's just say if the whole entire MCU decided to just make this movie the last movie ever and never produce any more MCU movies, I would be okay with it. It just closes things just right. But we do live in a capitalist world, so they're gonna keep making movies. I had my, oh, I actually had a different shirt on. It was a Stan Lee tribute shirt, but I did have my Spider-Man figure, and I also had this cheap knockoff gauntlet. This is gonna be such a killer for me because I can't say much, and I don't want to say much. The stuff that are so secret, I kind of had some predictions about. In a weird way, it came true, but not in a way I expected it to go. But the movie went like leaps and bounds beyond what I was expecting. Now, it's not like the Infinity Gauntlet comic, but... I think at this point of cinema and comic books, we have to separate the two. I might have mentioned that before in the last Avengers movie review um, for Infinity War. But my God, my emotions were flowing. <laughs> and I, I am comfortable with myself to actually say I cried. Like, not get choked up. Because in all my years of seeing movies, I've been choked up. There have been many movies that have gotten to me, but only as far as getting choked up. This movie, I actually had tears running down my face, blubbering like a baby. I haven't done that in so long. <laughs> I'm not really a huge crier. I'm just not chemically built like that. I feel bad for saying that because, you know, a lot of people have passed and it's hard to get a tear out of me. It's not because I'm cold-hearted or anything. It's just... You know, sometimes you mentally prepare yourself for things, but then sometimes emotions will just take you by surprise. Maybe I think the augmentation of everything that happened in this movie and the crazy last couple years I've had, I think maybe it's not the movie that made me cry, but I think it was the movie that finally pushed the envelope to make me burst into tears like it just hits all the emotional spots to really just push that out of me it's quite therapeutic really i won't go on and on about the actors because as i said in the last avengers movie review they all served a very meaningful point and they were great there were some choices on certain characters that I'm not sure if I really liked, but it works. 
that's the most you'll get out of me for this one. There are cameos from different sources. Uh, I don't think it's really a huge spoiler if I say there are even cameos from actors <laughs> from Community because the Russo brothers have worked with them and they're actually a huge fans of Community. You'll notice any movie that they've directed, they've brought in an actor from Community. For example, well, Winter Soldier, uh, you had the actor who played Abed. And for Captain America Civil War, you had the actor who played the Dean. And in this one, you actually get two cameos. Uh, you know what, I think I'll just keep my mouth shut about that. <laughs> so, it's so hard for me to really go on, on about a non-spoiler because this is a movie three hours long but you're not at all distracted. In fact, for me, I would have sat longer than three hours just because the pace of the film, because of all the action and all the excitement. I wanted more. I know there will be other MCU movies coming and that's fine. But like I said, if they had just decided to tomorrow pull the plug on everything, this would be a good way to end this series. But they're gonna keep making movies, so let's see what they do next. There is a character, and you've seen the trailers, Captain Marvel. I went on a little miniature, a minuscule rant about how much I didn't care for her movie that much. I mean, I didn't hate it, but it was kind of grating. But with Captain Marvel, I didn't mind her in this one. Probably because she's not really in it that much. Just peppered. That's not really a spoiler, you guys. That's just kind of a statement. But I'm gonna leave it at that because I really want you to go out and see the movie. It's already broken records and I really want it to be the number one film of all time, at least for a while. And this is coming from a DC fan. A DC fan. I love Batman. I love Superman. But Ah, uh, the MCU has really brought it up here. Catch up, DC. Catch up. Anyways, check out the movie. And when you do, check out my spoiler.